YouTube and welcome to Musicology for the People. Today I thought we would talk about one of the most famous legends in musicology, the legend of the dueling musicologists. Now, even today, musicologists duel constantly. However, this usually takes place in articles, conferences, or occasionally even on Facebook. The legend of the dueling musicologists actually comes from a turn-of-the-century bout in France. Here speaketh I the legend. Pierre Aubry, a French musicologist who studied the music of troubadours and trouvères, or the medieval minstrel musician, got into a bit of an argument with Jean-Baptiste Beck, a younger musicologist. The argument eventually got so heated that Aubrey was challenged to a duel and died by a sword strike. Thus, the legend goeth. Unfortunately, it isn't quite true. However, some aspects of the truth are even more interesting than the legend. For example, the point of contention between the two musicologists was no petty debate. It was actually an issue of plagiarism. Aubrey had published a book, Trouvert et Troubadour, or Trouvères and Troubadours, in 1909. In this book, he discussed many musical aspects of the genre. The issue is that the modal interpretation of the medieval song was stolen from Jean-Baptiste Beck. So, a few months later, in June of 1909, Aubrey was found guilty of plagiarism by a tribunal of six scholars. He was punished in two ways. First, he had to destroy all copies of the first edition, and then he had to reprint his book after amending it. Second, he had to publish the guilty verdict in 20 journals at his own dime. Of course, it's pretty much impossible to destroy every copy of a book once it's out there and circulating. But he did publish a second version, even though it was really only very slightly changed from the original. The guilty verdict was also absent from every single journal. Soon after publishing the second edition in 1910, Aubrey was killed in a fencing accident. There are many theories and rumors surrounding this event. Some believe that he was actually practicing for a duel against Beck. Others contend that in the culture of the day, it was considered a matter of honor not to practice before a duel because it showed fear and insecurity. Another theory, purported by noted musicologist John Haynes, is that this accident was really a contrived suicide. However, a nice little response to Haynes' theory comes from Lila Collimore. She notes that the opponent Aubrey was dueling against was using a sword with a covered tip. She also says that he went for a very normal strike. He went for the armpit. The opponent went by the name of Le Capitain de Romilly, or the Captain of Romilly, and both he and Aubrey were supervised by someone named Damalt. This means that this was actually a supervised fencing event. Also, Romilly was right-handed and Aubrey was left-handed, so when Aubrey went to go lunch at Romilly, Romilly was given a very nice opening in the armpit. Unfortunately, Aubrey's guard was already torn and the Epe was able to pierced through his skin, causing the fatal injury. Whether the death was accidental or suicidal, it appears that poor plagiarized John Beck had very little to do with it at all. The reason this legend started is that the rumor mill had already been going for a while saying that Beck should challenge Aubrey to a duel after stealing his work. People were actually outright telling Beck to challenge Aubrey. Also, another reason this legend has existed as long as it has is that if there had been a duel between Aubrey and Beck, there would have been no real publicizing of it because dueling was illegal by this time in France. However, as exciting as it would be to say that musicology had caused the dueling death of Pierre Aubry, it, it just wouldn't be true. I enjoy the legend for what it is and I hope you enjoyed learning about it too. We have been listening to some medieval music from the time period that both Aubrey and Beck studied. I will put a link to that in the description. I also have some very exciting news to report. I will be presenting at the American Musicological Society's Midwest Chapter Meeting in Minneapolis this April. Yay for conference presentations! Until next week guys, think critically. Musicology.